Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another new video today. And today I kind of wanted to, uh, granted I don't have a camera setup or anything to make this, you know, a little bit more legitimate or anything. Maybe I'll redo this video someday. I'm just going to kind of test the waters. So I wanted to tell a story about one of the times I got fired from a job. I know these videos normally do pretty well on YouTube, and for some odd reason people really like them. So I was going to make that video today to explain why I was fired from BP, the gas station, a couple years back in 2014. Uh, real BS reason, real shitty situation. Uh, real, It was an HR thing um, where everything that had to deal with me was a lie. And <laughs> it was fantastic. By the way, I'm on my laptop that I just bought. I love this thing. It's a Lenovo. Uh, awesome looking screen, full HD, it's a nice laptop. Anyway, that's neither here nor there right now. I just realized it unplugged itself. Um, let's plug this back in. Because the plug is really far away from the wall. Anyway, so if there's any difference in quality or anything in the video, it's because I'm on my laptop because my desktop is in pieces because I'm e thinking about doing a wall mounted PC. So, you know, video for a later date. So let's talk about BP. So BP, for pretty much anybody that has no idea that's never stepped out from under their rock, is a gas station. Uh, m the majority of BP gas stations are actually, like, family-owned gas stations or are, uh, like, they're not corporate locations. Kind of like if you went to a JCPenney's, that's a corporate store. Uh, these are franchises, basically. People who want to open their own gas station so they get the backing from BP for selling the gas. And then, you know, the inside part is just like a little convenience store. Or a 7-Eleven is basically the one that I worked for. So this BP, I was hired in, I believe it was probably sometime around May or June. I was hired in under this manager who, I'm not going to use names, obviously, who actually was unknown to us at the time, stealing from the store safe. She was stealing money from the safe nearly every night. Eventually, I believe it was probably a week or two later, we all found out and she got terminated uh, and probably sued as well because I believe that's what usually happens in that situation. I was looking for this. Anyway, so she got terminated, she was terminated, she was, you know, let go, probably sued, whole nine yards probably, of what they normally have to go through for that. Keep that in mind. So the girl that they made manager was a girl I went to high school with. We graduated the same year. I was thinking, oh, cool, it'll be fun to have a friend that I went to school with. No, apparently this girl had a vendetta against me because I was hired under that manager who was stealing from the safe. So that must mean she hires crooks. Not true, obviously, because I'm not sitting around going and stealing money from registers and safes. So I get hired in and eh, nobody likes this. Anyway, so I get hired in and I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And I hear from a fellow employee who's become a very good friend of mine, uh, ended up like a lifetime friend, still friends to this day, uh, that behind my back when I'm not there... Um, she will walk up to other people and be like, oh, his days are numbered. He's not going to last very long here. He's not w worth keeping around here. Well, I would be worth keeping around if you told me how to do my job and trained me. But that's a whole nother story. So, you know, I'm doing my best I can. I know how to use the register. I know how to sell gas. That's about all I know because the training abruptly ended when that other manager was fired. And this girl just had no care to hire me and train me correctly or keep me hired and train me correctly. So I'm working and I'm working and I'm working. And there's this one day that comes up. I have a line of people. Somebody is short by like a dollar and something. Naturally, I'm a helpful person. I like helping people. And this is where I can kind of understand it looks weird. So you know, the line's backed up. I'm the only person there on like a Thursday night or some shit like that when it would be normally busy. 
and I just pull the money out of my pocket. I count it out real quick and I dump it in the register for the person so I don't hold up the line. Naturally, they thank me profusely. They run outside, pump their gas, do what they need to do, and I help the rest of the people, not thinking anything of it. Now, let me give you a little insight about gas stations in areas that are not full of rich people like New York City or Manhattan and shit like that. If this is just a little gas station, a little convenience store in like a small rural town, chances are the security system in the store is either A, fake, like it was when I worked at Radio Shack, and that's a story for another day, or B, very low quality to equal out probably 10 years out of date, let's say. So you're getting like one frame pictures every five seconds rather than actual video footage. So I'm standing there, I'm working, I help everybody and the line dies down and that other person that I helped out with the dollar uh, comes back in the store, hands me like a dollar or two and says, man, this is what I found in my car. Thank you for the help and leaves. Naturally, I'm not thinking. I put the dollar or two in my pocket. Now, obviously on the cameras, I can see how that would be skeptical, but I'll get to that. So the next day I'm working and it's fine. Day after I'm working, it's fine. Third day, I come into work and the manager's waiting for me. Hey, we need to talk in the back before you clock in. I'm thinking, ah, great. She found something for me. Great. Either she's either going to train me finally, or she's going to fire me for some bullshit thing. Of course, it was the second one. So she pulls me into the back and she sits me down and she like stupidly friendly. I'll always remember this because it was so awkward. She put her hand on my knee, which first of all, if I was an asshole, I could just claim sexual harassment for that right there because I wouldn't, I don't want to be touched by this person, but I'm not that asshole. You're touching my knee. Big freaking do. So she says, when we came in this morning, the register was short $23. And I looked at the video camera recordings And it looks like you stole money from the register. And we have proof of that because the register was short $23. Now, within eyesight, I can see my paperwork from the night before because we're still doing everything on paper. So if you wanted to count your drawer, you had to write it out on paper and do it in the system. It was really stupid, but they wanted the hard copies in case anything ever happened to the actual computer system and like a glitch or something like that. And my paper copy and the one in the system came up even. I didn't have any money missing. I wasn't money over. It That was something I was very careful about because I'm a numbers person. I know how to track my numbers. I know how to keep things even and all that. They don't usually care if the register is over by a couple cents. That just means somebody didn't want their pennies or something. Big whoop. Uh, but my register was even. It came out even. It came out 0.00 missing or over. And the other thing about that is her paperwork was sitting next to it for when she opened that morning. All of her numbers were correct. They matched up with mine, which means she came up as 0.00 over or under. The registers were even when she counted them. Oh, you are you were missing $23 from the register. And I literally pointed to the paperwork and I said, the hard copy is right there with your signature and mine. They're both even. What are you talking about? I stole money from the register because if I stole money from the register, one of these would be lying. And she said, oh, I'll pull up the computer system version real quick. She pulled those up, turned beet red in the face, and they were even. So the ones that were actually done on register, also even, also correct. So obviously I didn't steal any money from the register. Oh, but we have it on video surveillance. No, you fucking don't. (laughs) So she says that line to me and My uncle's a lawyer. He deals with this kind of stuff all the time. He, I asked him later on what kind of rights I had in that situation. The rights I had in that situation were the ability to see the recordings. By law, if I'm being told I'm being fired for stealing, I have to see the video surveillance. Well, and while I was getting fired, you know, I didn't know that was actually the law. But I looked at my manager at the time and I said, can I see the video footage of where you're claiming I stole from the register? Because naturally, I'm curious. I want to see how this plays out. 
I want to know how I stole from the register. Oh, I can't show you the video footage because of legal reasons. Bullshit. There is no video surveillance. How awesome is that? And then she just proceeded to say, oh, but I can explain the footage we found. And she like taps my knee twice and, you know, that whole bullshit trying to keep me nice and calm. When I'm the one that's calm, I'm fine. I'm just sitting here laughing in my head at what's going on because I would never do such a thing. Sure, I'm a huge like software pirate and gaming pirate and I've done game hacking and all that. I'm not going to go in and steal physical money from the register. I have morals. I'm not a thief. Don't be a dick. So she goes in and she starts to explain it. And she says, well, on the video surveillance, we see you pulling your wallet out of your pocket, having some bills in your other hand that a customer gave you. And you put it in your wallet and then put your wallet back in your pocket. First of all, at the time, I didn't own a wallet. I didn't even carry cash. I just kept my debit card loose in my pocket. I just happened to have change that night because I was going to get some soda when I got to work. And that's usually how I'd pay for it because it was easier. Because if we we were told by that same new manager, oh, if you want to drink soda on the job, you can have unlimited refills. Just put a dollar in the register. Don't even ring it out. Just put a dollar in the register to cover it. Yeah, that sounded really wrong and fishy to me too. But it's what I did because I was following the rules. So... That's why I had that extra change on me. And she proceeded to say something along the lines of, yeah, that's basically what happened. That's what we saw in the recordings. I brought the assistant manager back here. He agrees that's what he saw. First of all, the assistant manager was a very close friend of mine. And I called him after I left because I knew he wasn't in the store. And he was like, yeah, I didn't see shit. I told her not to fire you. She just has some weird vendetta against you. I don't know what's going on, but I can't overrule her because I'm only the assistant manager. I'm just there to make sure you guys know how to order your stuff correctly. Which, by the way, I was never trained how to order stuff for the store. But I digress. So, you know, I'm told that's what happened. And she says, oh, you need to sign this piece of paper so you can be properly terminated. I didn't sign the paper. Why would I sign the goddamn paper to something I didn't do? I stood up and I said, nah, nah. Nah, I like your creativity, but I'm going home. I left the store and I walked home because the gas station was within walking distance of my parents' house at the time where I lived. And I got home. I told my mom what happened. She said, wow, that's hilarious. Too bad it's just a BP and you can't really get any money out of it, probably. (laughs) Which is very true. What would the point of me suing BP been? I think I was only being paid like $7.50 an hour, $8 an hour. There was no point. So... That's why I was terminated at BP, a manager who had a vendetta against me, who actually was fired, I believe, six or eight months later for a BS reason by the district manager. So, karma, motherfucker. It's great, ain't it? Uh, And, yeah, so I was told I was stealing from the register. I didn't actually steal from the register. There would be no point in me stealing from the register. That's the dumbest thing ever. But that's why I was fired from BP. Now, I have some other stories like this. I've had a lot of jobs. Pretty much every single one of them ends in something stupid. This is just one of my favorite ones. I've worked for CPR cell phone repair. And just, I walked into work one day and walked right out because of what happened there. If you want that story, let me know because it's pretty funny. Especially for the tech savvy out there. Um, I've worked for a family-owned computer shop that was a mall kiosk. Oh boy, that's a fun story. That is a real fun one. I'll uh, I'll have to go into that one whether you guys want me to or not. Um, there was another... There was the pizza shop that I worked at when I was 20 and 21. Well, from 18 to 21 I worked there. So I worked there nearly four years. And finally just up and quit one day for a reason I could definitely get into in a video. And... Office Max. Ooh, Office Max. I need to talk about Office Max in one of these videos. That would be a long video because, like, being threatened that I'd be fired for certain things that it would be illegal to fire me for. Like, it's a federal law. You can't fire somebody for that reason. But, you know, let's threaten it because we can. Um, And there's a couple other things. A lot of stupid shit with uh, 
Office Max as well. But this video is not about the other reasons I was fired. This video is about BP. If you want these other videos, I'm sure I can make a boatload of them because I've had a lot of jobs. I've had a lot of stupid experiences. I could even tell you about the car accident I was in wrongfully fired from a pizza shop when I was a delivery guy in a city I never lived in. That was a lot of fun. Um, that's a funny story, too. A lot of people love that when I tell it. So if you guys are interested in these videos, I can make at least one of these a week, probably. It would be no problem at all. I could even probably pre-record and have the next one up on a scheduled date. Uh, so maybe I'll do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. I think I am going to just record the other one right now, and I'll just put it on a scheduled release date. Maybe like a week from whenever this one goes up or something like that. But I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.